ACC was founded in 1872. We represent more than 190 companies that are really engaged in the business of chemistry. So that's everything from manufacturing chemistries to distribution and transportation to logistics. So everything you can imagine. It is a, a different kind of trade organization than, than some of the typical models. Uh, we go beyond simply federal and state advocacy, uh, and we look at raising the bar across the industry in a, in, a, in a subject that's really complicated and really difficult to master. So we really wanted to focus in on chemistry and the chemical industry, so really looking at the benefits of the products that chemistry provides, and really making sure that we had a good understanding of the potential risks and benefits that they have to both the environment and for the communities. And so we've spent the last really 150 years really focused in on advancing science and research and policies to really help make everyone's life better. The American Chemistry Council is really at the forefront on innovating new products and technologies to solve the world's sustainability problems. We focus in on six areas. So one is around advancing information and monitoring of air quality, protecting drinking water resources, also advancing recycling, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, also working to improve the diversity of workforces and also improving, improving product safety. So it's not just about conducting the science, it's about doing that science in a way that informs public policy and decision making. So a big part of what we do is try to do some of our work on the science and research area in partnership with other key organizations. So our regulatory and scientific affairs division includes policy, technology related experts, it also includes toxicologists and lawyers. And so really a broad base of multidisciplinary experts to really help us understand not only the science but the policy and then how we can provide information to the public and to regulators. The Responsible Care Program has uh, tracked uh, environment, health, safety, and security performance of our members. So we've decided, let's be transparent, let's go beyond what might be expected. As companies get more and more into sustainability, those outside the chemical industry, they're starting to realize that maybe they should be sharing some of this information as well. At its core, Responsible Care is really about protecting our people uh, and protecting the environment. And when I say our people, I mean those that work for us and those that live in the communities that host us. Most importantly, ACC puts science first. Science is foundational to ACC, foundational every program here at ACC, from toxicology and risk assessment, in, in assessment of exposures to chemicals, air, water, and soil. Science plays a key role, and ACC is investing through the Long Range Research Initiative to develop the science that's needed to improve the way we assess risks and hazards and exposures to individuals and communities. The American Chemistry Council partnered with the government in Harris County, Texas to really address air quality monitoring information. And so the American Chemistry Council provided a grant from our foundation to the Harris County government in collaboration with a number of partners there to bring in enhanced air quality monitoring information in underserved communities. And this is really, I think, has been a successful effort, particularly in in creating a stronger collaboration across local government, the chemical industry, and of course communities as well. Science is a global challenge and a global opportunity, and so by working globally, we help to spread the, the information that we develop in our each regional LRI programs uh, across different areas in, in the world. And therefore, we can help leverage that work uh, and, and communicate the importance of that work in many different uh, areas. FOSSI is our Future of STEM Scholars Initiative program. It is a scholarship program that really is targeted at high school graduates. It gives them internship opportunities, it gives leadership development opportunities, and it partners them directly with one of our many chemical industry sponsors so that they get mentorship over the four years. One of the reasons that FOSSI was so important for us as industry, we spearheaded this program really to look at um, diversifying our industry overall and trying to take a step back and look at how we could proactively be able to do that over time. This is probably the most exciting time for chemistry, right? So there are so many new uh, technological developments. And what we often say here is that you know, chemistry is the science behind sustainability. So those new opportunities, whether it be for new products, new innovation, creative ideas for solving some of the world's challenges uh, are critical. And so it's an exciting opportunity. 
And so as we look forward and as we think about what is going to be, you know, the leading edge of the next thing, chemistry is going to be a core element of that. And I think we all want to be part of that. I'm excited to be part of the chemical industry and to be able to share that information and knowledge with everyone else.